I can tell you he's, he's sore today. I don't know anything more at this point, so we'll just continue to take it one day at a time. Is Ed Oliver's injury a concern for the Buffalo Bills? Hey, Bills Mafia, welcome to my channel, Bills News Consolidated. In this video, we are going to be taking a look specifically at Ed Oliver's injury at the time of occurrence on the field, and then we're going to be discussing Ed Oliver's injury and what that actually means to the Bills and how serious his injury ultimately is. Sean McDermott did confirm Oliver's injury occurred while there was a scrum or some player being pushed into Oliver. An event where he was being pushed. Uh, I don't know if it's on that play that you're describing or a similar play. Guys, no, just, just push your guy from the other side to get there. Here's the play Ed Oliver actually ends up getting hurt. And what you're going to see is a screen play by the Rams. Ed Oliver makes a good play and then he runs back towards the play. You're going to see him right near the play clock, near the 40 seconds there, come back into the play. And you're going to kind of see him stumble and slide just a little bit. Here he is. Here's the original play. Ed Oliver pursues, comes back to Cooper Cup, and you see him slip. See Ed Oliver on Cooper Cup right there? Look at his ankles. He injured his ankle, so he's planted in the ground here, and you're going to see him use his leverage. Both ankles are cemented, planted in the ground, right? And then look at all the body weight. He kind of falls to his knee there, and he kind of gets twisted up in the pile. But here's another angle. Ed Oliver comes in on 65 right comes back into the play and you'll see him kind of slip a little bit and then look at all that body weight and we all, we saw what happened at oliver already but boom comes back in look at all those guys kind of and he got twisted up he's at the bottom of the pile after ed oliver went out with an injury the la rams marched down the field twice and put up 10 unanswered points we went into halftime with the score tied at 10 10. the good news is that ed oliver was able to re-enter the game for a play or two which is normally a great sign to see and you can see ed oliver here working on the sidelines he's still hobbling but he was able to make it back into the game. I think there's some positives and negatives when looking at the Ed Oliver injury. It's not that serious of an injury, and I think Ed Oliver should be able to recover from this, thankfully. But the fact of the matter is, is that Ed Oliver is the best defensive tackle on our team. Ed Oliver brings that interior pass rush, and he's been working with Von Miller in this defensive line this entire training camp and off season. So it's going to be a huge loss, especially if Ed Oliver is not out there. Plus, you know how we rotate guys in and out on this defensive line. If we're giving more of a snap count to guys like Jordan Phillips, it's not necessarily a great thing for our entire team. And on the bright side, the Buffalo Bills just beat the LA Rams without two of their best players on defense, Trey White and Ed Oliver. Ed Oliver was gone for more than an entire half and the Buffalo Bills were still able to apply pressure but keep in mind, that's what really benefited this defense was our pass rush. Christian Bedford, Kyir Elam, and Dane Jackson, they need to benefit from a great pass rush. And without Ed Oliver being there, we were stay still able to do that against the LA Rams because of their weak offensive line. But going against other teams, going against teams with better offensive lines, for example, like the Tennessee Titans this coming week, we still need to be able to apply pressure, not allowing wide receivers time against our young cornerback. Let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this video. Are you concerned about Ed Oliver's injury for the remainder of the 2022 season? Should the Buffalo Bills maybe consider resting him a little bit to get that ankle healed up for sure? Let me know in the comments. If you like this video, like and subscribe for future content. I will check you guys soon. Go Bills! Peace!